Hello everyone and welcome back to another part in this character modeling tutorial series. And we have two more parts to unwrap, so let's dive right into it. So this is one of the parts and actually now that I look at it, it seems to be quite simple. Um, I basically want to split it on this side and on the inner side first of all. Mark this seam. Um, we'll split this here and just get around this little uh, this little place here. Um, we'll do the same on the other side and we should probably also mark a seam here. I give this a shot and um, alright so this wasn't a symmetrical object I forgot about that which means that we have to do the same for the other side. Let's try to select the same uh, loop and now that I think about it we don't really need this to be uh, separated here. That should give us one back view, one front view and um, they should work pretty well. Uh, we could we could separate this part if we wanted to. Um, that would make it easier for like a harder line in the texture. Um, so let's try that. <laughs> I haven't really used this sort of approach much, but. Um, why not? <laughs> so, I don't want to overcomplicate things unnecessarily, but I feel like this could give us the opportunity to map a separate part of the texture nicely onto it. And here, though, I think I'll keep it as is because I feel like... Um, You know what, I'm sorry, no, I think I'll leave it as it is. Because the normal map is going to not care about where this line is, it's just going to create the line wherever the high resolution mesh is. So that means that, yeah, it would probably not line up perfectly and that would just make it difficult. So yeah, I think that's good enough for this part. Um, then there's one part left, which is the helmet. For this, uh, once again, I think here I will actually go ahead and separate this part, mark the seam here, um, then I'll go around here, let's mark this part, I'm actually going to cut this one open in the back, uh, so these two edges should be marked, and that will open that up nicely, um, then let's see, I think we'll go around here like this, all around, so that's a nice projection from the front. Then um, trying to visualize this all in my head. <laughs> I think we'll separate this part because it's a bit difficult to deal with it in one go. So now this is separate. Um, And then you have to think where do we want the seams. Um, we could, for example, just cut it up like this. Let's try that. I mean, apart from the horns, I think this will be the way to go. It gives us a seam here, but then on the other hand, these seams will be very nice and smooth instead of having a seam along this side and then it will never it will have a seam in all places along this edge. So I think I'll go with this. Uh, the only part that we need to fix is uh, the horns and I'll just mark the seam here and here to get the, those out of there for starters and then we can probably just cut around like this and do the same on the other side. Just like that. And that will be it. Um, basically, uh, UV seams are done. Um, all of these should now have, uh, <laughs> well, apart from the mess that we have created, <laughs> um, 
Let's see if we can maybe get this a bit <laughs> worked out. Uh, which part is this? This is probably here. Just want them to be a bit apart so that I can see which regions belong together. So that's not overlapping anymore. Um, where does that belong to? That is probably this one. Yeah. Um, so that move this down a bit. What else do we have in here? So that's of course the helmet. Just move that all the way out for now. Uh, what else do we have here? <laughs> this should be these ones. And then we have the hair. Probably all the hair. Yes, put that over here maybe. Um, just without intersecting with anything else. Um, then that's probably the feet. And I think that there's one last part maybe. Uh, and that should be the handle here. All right, there you go. Now we can't use it as is still, uh, unfortunately, because they're all at different sizes. And um, and to be honest, there's a different issue where the tools in Blender aren't too great, and that means that I would usually use an an add-on that helps me straighten things, but since I decided not to use uh, them and stick as much as possible to default Blender, uh, <laughs> yeah, our work will be quite a bit more challenging. So um, I'll be quite honest, I'm not used to this workflow, uh, so I'll be making a couple of mistakes here, but I'll do my best to fix things as we go and also notice something here that I don't like. Uh, let me quickly check if that is correct. Um, Oh, okay, that's just the mirrored side. Then it's not a problem. All right. They're not connected, right? All right. Uh, so then, uh, basically what we need to do is to straighten out a bunch of parts and, and get them sort of um, lined up with the similar ones, like these here. They need to all kind of stack together. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm best going to approach it because... Um, tools in Blender aren't really meant for that. So just to begin here, here's one trick we can do. I'm just going to do this all rough out here before we start with the layout. Uh, and I hope I'm not going to run into any trouble later. I'm just assuming that I'll find the right tools as we go. So I'll stack them as good as I can. They should all line up as close as possible. And then F3 um, merge by distance. Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> Which, which was the right feature. Um, I know, there there it is, M, M by distance. Actually, it is correct. Why does it not work? Um, oh, I think I know why. Uh, go, go press M again, hit by distance, and then you just need to go to this setting down here and turn it up a little bit until it all merges, but be careful not to overdo it. You must not have a single one merging to the wrong spot. So that's that. That's the first one. Um, then we go on to the next. Once again, you have to line them up as close as you can, and this time it will be very difficult because there's some that are very close to one another. Um, why are they shaking like that? <laughs> I'm a bit worried about Blender at the moment. <laughs> Bunch of things aren't really the way I know them. So let's do our best to merge only what we need. And let's not get any wrong 
wrong things stick together. So I'll mention once again, there are great tools out there that cost you a little bit. You can get uh, on the Blender market a nice add-on that will do all of this for you automatically, which costs maybe 20 US dollars or so. It's not very expensive, but I just want to show you that it can be done even without. So I'm just, you know, using the tools that Blender has in here by default. I'm looking mostly at this spot here to see if nothing wrongly merges there. And now we managed to put them on top of one another. So these are the two islands for this part. These are good for now. Um, here there's not much we need to fix. Let's just move all of the things we finish up here maybe. The scale of these need, needs to be corrected later on, but um, yeah, we'll leave that for later. Here what I want to do is I want to align them. I'll use Shift W and let's see if the straighten feature works for this part. And I have don't have so many good experiences with that and yeah of course again it doesn't work align auto that seems to work so i can use shift r to repeat uh, the last action and actually there's another method that works well here what you can do is well we'll take this uh we'll hit shift w align auto we'll take the bottom one line auto this one as well this one as well and then once this is completely rectangular, uh, I believe you can... Um, okay, I had to quickly look it up and I figured out now what it was. Follow active quads is basically the, the feature that you want to use. And it will require you to have selected a face that is already straightened. So in this case, just to repeat the process here, We'll quickly straighten uh, this side and this side and this edge and this edge. And instead of doing all of these individually, we can now just select this face, uh, go for, uh, well, it's basically an unwrapping tool, really. So it's in here. If you hit U, it's this one, follow active quad, and that will straighten it out like this. Uh, so it's a bit of a tricky, not, not that intuitive feature. Um, but we'll be using it quite a bit because it saves time and it's the best thing we have uh, in Blender by default. All the straighten tools, like here is a good case where I can show what it does. Uh, this will leave basically. Uh, once again, we'll take something that's already as straight as, as it can get, like here in the middle. Uh, and all I'll do is maybe we'll only straighten this even. So auto line this, auto line that, uh, auto line this, and then finally this one. Now this should be completely square. Now I can basically hit U and follow active quad and that straightens the entire thing out. It only really works for pieces that are very simple like this but it will save us a lot of time and I can show you here now how it won't be working well in this situation <laughs> but we can still give it a, a try and see what it does for us. Uh, let's try it on this part maybe. Uh, let's get maybe this one as straight as we can. Uh, w. And now let's see if it works, <laughs> but I don't think it will. <laughs> yeah, so um, it works for the most part, but we have a little bit of an issue down here where it's, yeah, what does it even do here? Actually, it's not too bad if you think about what it did for us. Um, the idea is quite good. I'm surprised though that it actually does completely remap uh, what we already have. Um, so if we were to maybe separate this in first place it would turn out differently but yeah and it's a difficult decision now to make uh, whether we try to use this or just do it without and I think we'll just do it manually and it's going to be a really annoying process. Um, and why is this now? <laughs> like that. Yeah, I had selected there. Yeah, but, but honestly, the, the issue is there is just not a very good tool in Blender that we can use in this situation. So what we need to do is just go and auto-align all of these individually. Um, and use our understanding to our advantage to, you, to get basically the result that we want. Um, because Blender can't do it automatically. 
Um, what do we do here? Uh, this one should align like that. And um, hmm, I'm not sure if I, I should keep this part of the tutorial real time because <laughs> this can go on for quite a long time. I'll try to do it real time for the time being so that you can follow and see some of the issues I run into. And but I, I guess you might want to skip some parts here as well. Um, so here we'll have to. Um, yeah, let's line these up maybe and then we'll try to line these up with the rest <laughs> if that works out anyway wait a second do you see what I'm seeing here <laughs> is that an end gone that I'm seeing there hidden in the back of this part This is not what I like to see. <laughs> mm. So, what do we need to do now? Um, I'll delete all of these edges. Actually, here it's correct. We only need to do it on these four. Delete these edges here. Then we'll connect these two edges on all of them. And then uh, I'll cut it here. And then we can fill this in. You know, I'm kind of glad to know that those of you who are still watching at this point, I know you guys will forgive me. <laughs> After all we've been through. <laughs> Alright, I have a few more ideas that I, I would like to do here. Let's delete this loop in the center now, so that we are left with a little triangle here. Should reduce some of the unnecessary things. Um, and we'll do the same on this side, on the thumb. And in the front we'll keep it. And the other thing that I'll do is I'll separate... Uh, oh, so that was the back in first place. Well, let's just separate this then. I'll select these additionally. Um, mark these seams. Then we'll unwrap that. And if I'm correct, this means now that we'll easily be able to stack it all uh, together. So basically, Let's put our fingers to here for a second. Uh, this is the thumb. And these are now the end caps, or whatever you want to call them. And I want to make sure that they're the right side up, so let me quickly make a check. I'll just select the... Oh, there's one more. We forgot to delete. Uh, a bit of a tricky situation okay we need to can we get away with that yeah I think we can um, so uh, let's select this feature actually uh, I'll select the bottom bottom part of that anything really and see which ones are upside down uh, so these are upside down uh, actually no they're all aligned that looks okay but I think I'll just turn all of them around uh, disable that again I will remove, uh, rotate it by 100, 180 degrees and now we'll just stack them up and make sure that they're all in the same position yeah quite honestly this part can be very annoying and there are good tools out there so be sure to use them and I wish Blender would do something about this part of the workflow because um, it just isn't ideal now here I have feeling that 
we must be careful not to select the wrong things. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yep, seems correct. Uh, scale by zero, scale by zero, scale by zero. And what what do we have here? Zero five. This is five. This is five. Here we have this belong here. This belong here. Here we go. Now we need to do a little bit of cleanup. We'll just basically use Shift W auto line this, then auto line that, then we'll auto line this and this as well. Basically auto line everything. <laughs> and finally, I'm just going to make this even as I can. Um, we can even use some of these grid lines as our guides. So, uh, one, two, three, five, six. Let's bring it here, maybe. And this one seems to be not aligned yet. Um, so, this is roughly three, three. Let's bring this now up a little bit. Uh, this goes a bit higher. <laughs> yeah. I, I must admit, this really doesn't feel like good, clean work, but what can I do when I miss the tools? So that's done. Um, now for the fingers, uh, I'll take, again, one of the quads that looks fairly straight. I'll auto-align this. Um, try to use the same on all sides. Here it should be this one. Now these are all square. And now we can select them. Hit U for all the active quads. Okay, we need to one to do one after another. But that should straighten them out nicely. Like so. We'll do the same here. Um, probably have to rotate that a little bit first. Can we do multiple at once? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> that would be too convenient for it to be true. <laughs> so let's hit this, and that straightens things out again for us. Now all we need to do is to um, layer them on top of each other correctly, and ideally use the, the merge by distance to get these together. We just need to scale the entire Thing and it should line up just fine. There you go. Another one. I believe the fingers are one of the trickiest parts though, so... Uh, beyond this point I have a feeling that it will be a bit easier, but we'll see. There, I'm sure there's a few surprises still in there. Actually, this is not. This finger doesn't belong onto this stack, but. Um, although, should we keep it? Well, I don't know. Um, there you go. Now let's take all of these and use M by distance, and let's just adjust this valley here until. What do we have here? Oh, that's just a thumb. Okay, until they're all together, without any anything wrong merging. And I think that is going to be good enough. Yeah, we don't know the scale just yet. That's something we'll have to figure out a bit later. But this part is done. Um, so let's move it back to our finished 
finished parts here. And let's take a look at the next. This is going to be an easy one. Uh, just take any of these and order line, order line, order line, order line. Take this and go by active quartz. That's going to be it. Here we have another one that <laughs> will be also fun to do. Um, order line this. Yeah, I mean, it's really not the greatest workflow, is it? I feel like this is something that could be automated very nicely. So it did get kind of a bit long. I'll scale it down a tiny bit, not too much. But I feel that that's going to be a bit more natural. And over here, um, we'll also try to uh, auto line these and then follow this active quad. So this is going to be that done. Um, you don't have to straighten out everything, by the way. It's only those parts that um, benefit from it, like some of the more organic parts. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Where does that come from? <laughs> Pretty sure, oh no, oh no. I shouldn't have selected all of them while working. <laughs> Did it affect anything up here? Let's go back to this. So up here everything is still fine. Although this one isn't aligned properly. Let's try to align this again. Um, that's not going to work out either, so we have to do this manually. Let's just scale this down along this side and we'll align this as well. I hope it was just... Is it everything? <laughs> well, that is a bit scary. that going to be still possible? That seems okay. That's fixed. So as for everything else, we're just going to re-unwrap re it. There will be no, no problem there. And we'll be more careful next time. So these are done for now. We still have a bit to go. Um, and I think we can still do a few more parts in this video. We still haven't lost too much time. Um, So this is done. This one isn't. Um, we'll do our best. <laughs> Separate the ones that are done from those that aren't. Um, okay. We'll just go one after another and hide them as we go then. So this can is done, let's hide it. This one was done, I believe, so let's hide that too. But this one isn't, so we'll bring it in the center, actually just unwrap it newly and go from there. This one, for example, um, I mean, it has a big difference in size here, so I will just keep it as it is. I just would like to um, straighten out this particular side because this one is straight, so uh, I'll get, go in here, shift W, auto line this, this, this and that. And from here on, I'll let it sort of go large the way it wants. Also line this end and this end though, uh, and try to keep these sort of on the same height. And then there's one more trick I can show you. Uh, we just need to first... <laughs> get these here aligned. The fifth one. Is that aligned even? <laughs> right, let's bring it up there. We'll bring it down back later. Need to be careful not to sort of um, line the wrong points here.
All right, this is now all aligned. Let's bring it back down. Um, and let me quickly check the situation there. So these are a bit wider apart, and here we have some that are closer together. So that is mostly correct here. It's not like we needed to smooth this out. And what we could try to do now is to um, should we just align these actually? Well, anyway, what I was going to say is we can pin these uh, points here. So select all of these around the ones that we aligned. I'll hit P to align them, then select it all and unwrap it again. And this time, well, apart from these, this one will try to adjust to the pinned vertices. Um, but it doesn't always give a great result, and in this case, I feel like it's not ideal. Although here we have a little bit of... <laughs> Of some stretching. Um, it's probably probably means that this is supposed to be smaller than it is currently. This one needs to be larger. Oh well. Nobody said it would be easy. <laughs> Um, there is a sculpting tool in here that we could try to use. Uh, relax. <laughs> Do something like this, but I don't like it very much. It doesn't seem very useful. Um, for now, let's unpin with Alt P. And I'll leave it as it is for now. Um, Hopefully, we'll get a chance to fix that. What about this one? So here, we'll just unwrap it in case, bring it in the center. This one should be straightforward. Uh, Shift W, auto line, auto line this, then that, then that. Just bring it a little bit back to the middle. I think we aligned this one, right? So I'll select that. There's nothing else that we could affect. Uh, follow active quad. Okay, that definitely wasn't the one. <laughs> it's this one here. Yeah, that seemed correct. And these are fine as they are. Uh, so that's done too. Here we definitely messed up, so <laughs> let's unwrap this again. And here, quite honestly, we don't need to change a lot. Maybe we'll only do this one. Because this one looks quite straight in first place. Um, Let's auto line all of this again. And then go from here. Follow active quad. So that's very even now. Uh, for the rest, these are more organic parts uh, that don't really have a strict. Oh, but we said we would do the shoulder, and that's a very important one. So here, I'm also going to select one of these quads that are already quite straight. Just give it a little bit of uh, alignment, and then once again, fold the active quad. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this will help a lot with the quality in that region. Um, and while we're at it, let's also line this up somewhat with this part. Doesn't really need to be perfect, but that's okay. And finally, um, the rest looks fine, I believe. Um, I feel like this one should be turned around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we don't need to edit anything there. Maybe the face. Um, the face is also upside down, it seems. <laughs> but now we'll leave it all as it is. like that's going to be the best idea for here. So okay, that part is done. Uh, I believe that we did this already, but this one we haven't touched yet. Let's leave it for a second. Um, are there any things that don't need too much attention? Uh, let's re-unwrap that. I feel like the ears are good as they are, so we'll leave them. Uh, all the hair, we'll unwrap that again. 
also isn't really anything we can align so this one is basically good as it is uh, let's hide that then here we have another part that probably doesn't need too much oh we can do these for sure so um, let's auto align all of these sides then here too and then we'll just fold the active quad here and here all right another part done as for these two, oh, we have it, them done up here already, so that's fine. I was just going to say we need to stack them, but yeah, we've already done that. Uh, these two parts should be just fine as well. We also did them before. This part should be done as well. And this one is done too. Um, not too much left to go. It's a, again another long video filled with <laughs> trouble I feel personally but this one needs to be unwrapped again so this part also doesn't really have anything I want to align so I'll just hide it leave it as is here I feel like there will be a bit more opportunity but it is a difficult one to be honest um, because it's not all straight so there's one thing we can try to do uh, let's unwrap that quickly so that it moves back to the center and what I want to try is uh, to straighten out this part and then this here and this here and we have to be careful uh, to realign these somewhat uh, about this much I believe is correct and here like this so now we're going to pin pin the sides, pin these and we'll just select uh, face selection this part for now and unwrap it and that kind of nicely puts it within these bounds but I would like these ones to be also aligned down here so um, we will select them but not in this area just the ones that really touch the bottom so these ones here too and finally here then we scale them down let's just mem memorize how much this is offset roughly and bring it back to here then we'll pin these as well and now if we unwrap it again well <laughs> apparently we get a bit of distortion so maybe using this uh, pinning the center isn't maybe the greatest idea so let's pin only the outside try that again and that seems to work we apparently need to give it a little bit of space here um, is that supposed to be like this? <laughs> I guess it is. Uh, let's just check here with the stretching. Yeah, seems to be alright. Okay, so uh, that was a tricky one, but I'm glad we figured that out. Uh, as for the rest, um, I feel like there isn't really much we could do. I mean, we could straighten that out, but it doesn't really, doesn't really make too much sense here to force that. Or does it? <laughs> um, what does straighten do by the way on this I feel like straighten is what we would need in this situation um, but not here also we need to align it anyway I feel <laughs> what align yeah we kind of need to turn turn this like this <laughs> you really have to fight with these tools I feel Um, let's get the distance roughly correct I don't think that this will really <laughs> help but we can give it a try just pin this quickly and see if the result is anything even remotely useful and I feel like it's just going to distort more than it does good so let's just undo that and we'll leave it like that. So this part is also then uh, done unwrapping wise this one probably won't need so much attention there's too much complexity anyway I mean I would love to you know have some tools that help me easily stretch this whole part out 
Uh, actually, this is not too difficult. Let's, let, let me show you, actually. I uh, will shift W, straighten, uh, and it doesn't straighten it. <laughs> Why not? So maybe we'll just do auto align and accept the fact that it will be a bit distorted. <laughs> what if we do it in this mode? Uh, and what if we deselect some points? So now it works. All right. Let's just go with that. Uh, and I'll select all this, auto line that, now pin it, and then unwrap it again. And apart from the, these parts here in the back, uh, this should be now straightened. Um, and I feel like this helps a little bit, so let's just unpin it again and we'll kind of leave it like that. Uh, so that part is done as well. For these buttons, uh, yeah, we need to stack them. <laughs> Let's leave that for a moment. The video is getting so long. Um, here we don't really have much to do, although I wish I could pin this and um, and only for the inside re unwrap that. Um, unwrap this again. So now that is straight, at least as good as we can make it straight. Uh, we can also quickly auto line this, line that, auto line these couple of points. And then I think we just have to go through and check these. Seems like they are already pretty straight, but no, they're not. <laughs> so we'll skip this section here and go to here. To all of those of you who are listening to this still right now, I'm very impressed with your endurance. <laughs> so let's press Alt-P to unpin. I mean, it is a very long process to make characters. <laughs> but you're still here, so... That is quite something to be proud of. All right. Um, now there isn't really an orientation to this, I believe, so we can just go ahead and stack them onto one another as good as we can, regardless of the orientation. Pretty sure it will be fine. Like that. Let's move this on top of this one. This on top of here. Then we can select all three of them. Bring them on top of that. Finally, this one. There's one thing I want to point out. Like this front that we really care about is actually just this little part here, and the back that we don't care about is all the section around it. So I'll adjust it a little bit to, um, yeah, so that we spend more resources on what we want to show and not so much on what we don't. So merge that by distance, and let's just adjust it a tiny bit. Um, we need to go one higher even more. <laughs> Apparently we need to go to all the way to one. Okay, finally, uh, let's align this and this here. And for the rest, maybe we can straighten it out. Uh, probably didn't really do anything, or did it? Did something, but I don't trust it, so let's undo that. <laughs> uh, so, um, I'll take all of these and scale these up now so that we spend less of our precious UV space on them. And for these, I'll just select them individually, scale them up again. And now for the center, this will be the most important part and it will therefore receive the most amount of space. So, that is this part done as well. Uh, this video is already so long, but I feel like we're almost done, so finish it. Here we don't need to do anything, that is good as it is. And then the helmet. <laughs> the one object that I'd like to leave for the very end. Let's unwrap it again, bring it to the center. Um, so these parts are good, maybe we straighten out this one. Um, 
align that, uh, auto line all of these, and then we select that and follow active quads. Uh, these here are, are good as they are. And for this section here, would be nice if these are straight. Um, can we use straighten? Once again, we can't, but what if we deselect the tip? <laughs> For some reason that's that worked for me before. Now it works, but it gives us a weird distribution either way. So that means we have to do a bit of manual work. Uh, let's just select this part, kind of straighten it out like so. Then I'll select this section here and do the same. Do whatever I can to kind of straighten it out, scale it down a little bit. Now I can select the entire thing and uh, without the edges maybe, it's straight. I don't even know what the difference is between straighten and auto line. It probably does the same, just along a different axis. So maybe we'll just auto line that. And then now that that's done, uh, we'll pin it here, select just that section, and unwrap that again. And we'll probably have to continue this a little bit. So we'll go from here to here, and then from here to there. And we'll auto line this as well and pin it. Then we'll unwrap it again. Now we need to do this annoying process again where we oh, have to align all of these individually. Um, auto line. Yeah, this will be faster. I'm just hitting Shift R to repeat the last steps. I'm just selecting these two edges and hit Shift R. really not the most entertaining part, is it? <laughs> Here I think we'll leave it to let it sort of find what is the most, well, relaxed position. Um, here we go again. You would think that with all with all of these, um, with all of this accurate clicking, you would get better at uh, game video games after all of these hours of clicking accurately on targets. But <laughs> believe me, that's not really the case. <laughs> right, we just move this to the center a little bit, keep it on this side as it is here, and that should be good enough. I'll just unpin it all again uh, to keep that simple. That will be it for this part. Here, there's not much we can do. And that's going to be it. Uh, a very long video with lots of struggle, um, but at least now all of the parts that we can align are aligned. We just have to separate them a little bit nicer later. And then we have to do the layout and the scale properly. So that's going to be the next challenge. Anyway, there we are. This is where we're at. Uh, next, next part, we're going to hopefully finish the UV layout and we have a few more steps to go after that. <laughs> I hope you're learning a lot here, um, as always, and I'll see you in the next one.